in Tegucigalpa, Honduras, there's this guy named Roberto, who's struggling financially and has two kids, Miguel and Rocio. One day, he gets approached by Giselle, a former beauty queen, who suggests signing his kids to child modeling deals. Roberto agrees, and they go to a photo shoot. But when he goes back to pick them up later, they're nowhere to be found. Turns out the children were sold off to be used as sex slaves. Bummer. If you're into gripping movie reviews, thrilling trailers, and incredible content, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. And hey, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss a beat. In Calexico, California, there's this guy named Tim Ballard, and he's a special agent for Homeland Security Investigations, HSI. His job is to bust people involved in child pornography, and man, it's tough and heartbreaking work. Tim's personal life takes a hit because of all the pain he witnesses. To make matters worse, his colleague Chris points out that even though they've arrested many child predators, they haven't managed to rescue any exploited kids. Tim knows most of these predators are operating outside the U.S., but Chris's words stay with him. Feeling the weight of it all, Tim decides to have a conversation with a predator he nabbed, this guy called Ernst Oshinsky. Here's the crazy part. Tim pretends to be a pedophile himself during their talk. It's intense stuff. After gaining Oshinsky's trust, Tim arranges a meetup with a trafficked kid, and that's when he catches Earl Buchanan, the guy who bought Miguel. Tim manages to save Miguel from that terrible situation, and he becomes friends with the kid. He asks Miguel for any info that could help find the other missing children. Miguel tells Tim that his sister Rocio is still out there somewhere, and he pleads with Tim to rescue her too. Tim sets it up for Miguel to go back home to his dad, Roberto, but before he leaves, Miguel gives Tim his sister's St. Timothy necklace. Now, Tim's on a mission to find Rocio, and it takes him all the way to Cartagena, Colombia. There, he meets this dude called Vampiro, who used to be a cartel accountant, but now he's all about rescuing kids from sex trafficking. They join forces to find Rocio and bring her home safe. After stumbling upon news about a child sex club getting busted in Thailand, Tim thinks it's the perfect ruse to nab a bunch of Giselle's kids in a sting operation. He teams up with Vampiro, this Colombian police officer Jorge, and a rich dude named Paul to make it happen. But there's a hitch. Tim's HSI boss, Frost, can't provide the funds needed for the op. He tells Tim to come back to the U.S., but our guy Tim ain't giving up on finding Rocio. He goes ahead and quits his job instead. He's all in on this mission. Frost manages to convince the U.S. Embassy staff in Colombia to help Tim out with his rescue mission. They go undercover and trick Giselle into selling them 54 kids. And they nab all the bad guys and set the children free. But Rocio isn't among them. After interrogating one of Giselle's pals, Jorge finds out that Rocio was sold off to the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, deep in the Amazon jungle. And here's the kicker. That area is like a wild, unmapped territory, and the Colombian government can't fly there because it's a rebel no-fly zone. Basically, it's a real tough spot, and there's no easy way to get Rocio out of there. Vampiro comes up with an idea. He says doctors can get into that region for medical stuff. So, Tim gets this wild idea to pretend they're doctors to get in there. Jorge isn't too thrilled about it, but he agrees to the risky plan. Tim and Vampiro try to sneak into enemy territory in disguise, but the rebels ain't having it. They only let one of them in, and Tim ends up going solo into that dangerous place. It's a real nerve-wracking situation. Tim manages to sneak into the enemy camp and finds Rocio there. Turns out, she's become the personal sex slave for the rebel leader, El Alacran. It's messed up. The rebels are also making her and others mash coca leaves to produce cocaine, funding their war against the Colombian government. In a bold move, Tim has to take down El Alacran to free Rocio. It's a real intense situation. They face gunfire from the rebels, but he doesn't give up. Tim gets Rocio out of there and to safety. When they part ways, Tim gives Rocio back the necklace Miguel had given him before. It's a touching moment. Finally, Rocio gets reunited with her dad and brother, and they all head back home to Honduras. So, after all this crazy stuff, Tim Ballard goes and testifies before the United States Congress. And get this, his testimony actually leads to new laws that make the government team up with other countries to fight sex trafficking. Pretty awesome, right? But here's the harsh truth. The epilogue tells us that there are more people enslaved nowadays than ever before even during the time when slavery was legal. It's a sad reality, and there's still a lot of work to be done to put an end to this terrible practice. If you were blown away by the thrilling ride of Sound of Freedom, show some love by smashing that like button. For more intense updates, heart-pounding movie reviews, and gripping drama thriller content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.